Pramod Madhav joining us live. So, Pramod, while uh, this issue is being uh, taken up in the legal uh, you know, uh, corridors, the fact remains that uh, down on ground in Tamil Nadu, it's really having a serious repercussion in terms of protests, hunger strike, and now the chief minister of the state himself is getting down to observe a day-long hunger strike. What is the, the latest from the ground? Well, the latest from the ground is that like we are in a place where IIDMK is currently protesting and there behind me you could see the Chief Minister, EPS, Deputy Chief Minister, OPS, uh, Fisheries Minister Jay Kumar, Madhusudan, and former ministers and everyone protesting at this point. There are 34 locations across Chennai where they are protesting and here, it was though it was not announced earlier, now they are protesting. We have EPS and OPS at the venue. They are everybody's coming, they're greeting them and going. This is a one-day protest, a kind of like a protest showing their solidarity towards the farmers and they want to state that they are also protesting against the center for not constituting the Kaveri Water Management Board. However, we cannot find any kind of holding or names where it states that they are protesting against the center. They just want to make it very clear that they want the Kaveri Water Management Board and that that's the reason they are protesting over here. This is the first protest by AIDMK. Till now it was DMK and the opposition that were protesting and uh, DMK and opposition's main argument was that the state did not impact, like, uh, exert as much pressure it should have done for creating the Kaveri Water Management Board. However, from analysts, we are getting the information that it was not the state's decision to go ahead with this. And there, there you see uh, uh, the chief minister is trying to greet a person. And uh, uh, this is like uh, this this kind of uh, hunger strike is expected <coughs> to occur for the whole day here. Right. So it's becoming a huge political issue and there is a lot at stake for the EPS government in Tamil Nadu. We know that politically uh, the party is in a delicate situation with new entrants like Rajnikanth and Kamal Hassan as well in the political fray. It's extremely important for the AIA DMK to be seen taking up the right issues for the people of Tamil Nadu. Is that the reason? why we see this relentlessly pursuing the case of Kaveri Water Management Board because there is a lot at stake for the EPS government. Well, it's unfortunate that the ge geography also plays a very important part and Tamil Nadu is one uh, kind of state which uh, depends on the monsoon for its rains and we have two sets of uh, agriculture uh, conditions. One is a Samba and the other one is a Kuruvai. The long-term Samba entirely depends on Kaveri because that falls between the uh, uh, June to January and that period you need Kaveri water. There is no other possible way uh, for you to get any kind of water and uh, that's the reason uh, unfortunately like even for the past three years uh, monsoon failed Tamil Nadu and at that point they depend on Kaveri water and there is also one more thing that the desalination of the uh, desilting of lakes and ponds that was also not done that was brought forward last year by activists because of that catchment area of water is also very less in Tamil Nadu that is why Delta region entirely depends on Kaveri water this is why the government approached to the Supreme Court and they got the verdict though the verdict removed 22.4 cm TMC and Tamil Nadu only now gets 177.25 TMC of water from 192 Still, the former stated that they have a bit of relief because Supreme Court has stated that the CWMB should be uh, constituted within six weeks. However, yes. it was not done. 29th was the last day. It was not done. And that is why protest after protest we saw in the state. And this time, it is AIDMK behind me. There you see the Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister. They are also showing their solidarity and protesting against the center because they want the Kaveri Water Management Board to be constituted. And everything uh, is being done on its part, uh, Pramod, from what we have seen, right from disruptions in Parliament to a Rajya Sabha MP tendering his resignation over this issue. And of course, uh, also the threat to uh, introduce a no confidence motion should the Congress uh, agree to do so. So all those various means and methods have been adopted. But what has come of it? Practically nothing. I mean, there is absolutely no movement in terms of forming a Kaveri Water Management Board yet, Pramod. Well, that is very unfortunate. Uh, we, uh, normally, the Christian, the MP from AIDMK, he even stated that they are ready to conduct mass suicide. That's the level he showed his emotions in the parliament. And even after that, Pairi Karpan, one of the uh, uh, Muthu Karpan, one of the M MP, stated that he will resign. However, he did not resign. He cited that CM asked him to reconsider. After which, he reconsidered his decision. So that way, uh, the, they have also 
taken back their decisions and what happened right now is that CWMB can be constituted by the centre only. What yes. they have to do is that state can exert to, uh, to a level of pressure but it is the centre that has to do that. Yes, two weeks ago the chief secretaries of the four states met in, the, uh, met in Delhi and they had a discussion but after which we could not see any kind of development. After the okay. chief secretaries had met they, have, they are supposed to provide data about the catchment areas, about the, uh, the dams, about the land that is being irrigated but that has not yet been provided. So right now they are, the centre had only gone ahead and stated that they have a confusion over the, scheme, the term scheme. But mm -hmm. everybody say like this is a more than a decade old story and why should the centre have a confusion with the word scheme right now? That seems to be the bigger question mm -hmm. and apparently uh, no answer has been given from the centre which is very, very unfortunate and that's the reason protesters claim that the centre is acting against the interest of the state. And the, and the issue, the 